Hello everybody, Ragtag Sagvi here. Welcome to the next episode. In the last episode we were going for supports, and in this episode let's go for the remaining supports before we use up our remaining activity points and progress the week. Hello Raphael, are you well? Any chance you might be training today? Of course! My muscles are always ready to train. I imagine so. Mind if I tag along? I have been practicing my battle cries. I believe you shall notice a marked improvement. Rawr! Yeah! Wow, that sounds much better than last time. But try doing it more like this. Yeah! Oh, hearing it anew is positively invigorating. I have much training ahead if I am to become as strong as you. Try not to strain yourself. You've got smarts, so you shouldn't have to worry about your muscles. I won't be satisfied until my body is as strong as my mind. As my body is so frail, my brother is endlessly worrying over me. I know what that's like. I have a little sister too. I always worry about her, even when it's something small, like catching a cold. Then surely you understand. I want to give my brother peace of mind. If I don't get stronger, I won't be able to do all the things I wish to do. But I'm quite enjoying this. I have never shouted so loudly in all my life. Each time I allow myself to let go in such a way, I feel invigorated. Well, if you're having fun, I'm not gonna stop you. Go on and shout as much as you want. Give it all you've got and make your brother proud. Just you wait. I've only just begun. All right. Gather up your energy deep in your gut and get ready to shout. yourself pass out. Uh, Sh Shamir, I'm so sorry. I, uh... Are you trying to breathe like I showed you? <sighs> not even close. That, uh, in-out-out technique sounds so easy, but it's not easy at all. It's only easy for me because I put in the time to practice. You need to practice if you want it to work. <sighs> oh, yeah? Really? So I should be able to do it if I just practice. Yes. I see, I see. You had no presence. <sighs> Again. <sighs> yes, sometimes my presence fades without even trying. It can be a nuisance. <sighs> One of these days, I'm gonna do it just like you. Seems unlikely, but keep practicing. It, yeah. Got it! <sighs> Thanks. Stop doing it while you're talking. It's disturbing. Oh, hey! It's you! Going for a walk again today? No, I'm on cooking duty today. And I have to head into town for some groceries. All on your own? Hmm, I'd better go with you. I'd be worried if you went by yourself. No, please. I can manage on my own. But won't you have a hard time carrying everything back? Not at all. I'll be fine. I'm just replacing a few ingredients. Also, I may not look it, but I'm actually quite strong. I've been exercising every day. You're right. You don't look it. Your biceps are a fraction of the size of Raphael's. If you start fumbling around under the weight of all the groceries, and then you trip and spill everything everywhere... Look, I'm just saying, that could be your future. It could happen. It doesn't look pretty. That's what you think of me, huh? Yep. You're honestly a bit of a mess. I see. If that's how you feel. Oh, knock it off with the wounded puppy dog eyes. 
As though I'm some sort of villain in your story. I'm sorry. That wasn't my intention. I'm just a bit sensitive, that's all. You're talking like you don't respect me. I see. So now it's my fault? No matter how grown you seem to think you are, there's so much you're incapable of. You can play at being a mature adult, but it only ever complicates things, and that's exactly what makes you look like a child. Uh, oh, enough already! Would you just leave me alone? Maybe I... went a bit far that time. But he's so stubborn despite his ineptitude, I can't just leave it be. He's so foolish, constantly making a mess of things. Wait, but then... No matter how much we stretch, some things are always beyond us. I think it's fine to be vulnerable and ask for help sometimes. What he said to me before... To everyone else, do I seem just like Ignatz? Hey, Marianne? Are you there? Yes. Can I help you? Do you have a minute? Huh? Oh, um, I... Then, if you don't mind, would you come with me for a moment? So, um, did you need something from me? Yes, indeed. I have an urgent request. Have I done something? Oh, no, it's nothing like that. Really, you don't have to worry. Um... Would you close your eyes, please? Then how will I know where I'm going? Just take my hand. That's it. There, right there. Perfect. Now open your eyes. Ah, oh, the town is glowing from the sunset. Yes. Isn't it beautiful? Very much so. I was looking at it earlier, and I thought to myself, I have to show Marianne. But why me? Because you're always looking at your shoes. You never get a chance to appreciate the scenery. Oh, I... See, the best thing about the scenery is, it's always changing. With the weather, the time of day, the season. So every view is unique, never to be repeated. If no one sees it, it's lost. You could have just enjoyed it on your own. I wanted to share this beautiful landscape with you. Thank you. I... I'm not sure what to say. Hey, that's okay. I won't try to express this beauty in words either. Just look and remember. This will make for a nice memory. And maybe remember that I was here too. I... I will. I really will. <laughs> Who's there? Oh, hey, Ignatz. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Relax. You're not interrupting. I'm sorry. I didn't know you were training out here. I sometimes come here to practice by myself. It's more like a real battlefield, you know? Shooting the targets in the yard lets you train your aim and all, but the tension just isn't the same. You're right. A real battlefield feels quite different. But if that's the atmosphere you want, I feel even more like I'm intruding. Oh, knock it off. You're already here. May as well stick around while I catch my breath. Ah, okay, sorry. Thank you. Sorry to bother you. You know you've said you're sorry about a dozen times since you got here. Oh, I'm so... Ah. <laughs> it's fine. I guess it's part of your charm. Hey, what's that bundle of papers? Oh, did you come here to paint? I remember now. Someone said you're a great artist. You paint a lot, right? Uh, yes. Yes. When I have the time, that is. I enjoy painting. It helps me relax. Oh, well, that could be your thing. My thing? 
Huh? What do you mean? Last time we talked about it, you said you didn't have a thing you were really amazing at. But if you like painting so much, it must be a skill you're looking to master. M my paintings are nothing but a hobby. Besides, I'm not that good. I never took art lessons. When... when I was little, I drew a picture for a young girl. The picture made her so happy that I decided to keep at it. That's how it started. So, you're practicing your art to make other people happy? Is that it? Oh no, th that's an overstatement. I must insist again, it's just a hobby. Even if I were to become a master artist, it wouldn't be a useful skill. Aren't you from a merchant family employed by the nobles? I think it would be really useful there. I'm not inheriting the business. My brother is. My father said that I'm to become a knight. So my art won't do anyone any good. At all. Ever. Oh, Ignatz. Hmm, nothing here. What are you doing? Oh, Flane! I've just been researching the exploits of St. Sethleen. And why is it you're doing that precisely? Well, painting is a hobby of mine, and I thought I might like to capture her likeness. Well, how lovely! Uh, but how is researching her exploits necessary for painting? If I wanted to use a statue of St. Sethleen for my reference, it wouldn't be necessary. But that's not what I want. I wish to paint St. Sethleen herself, looking exactly as she did when she was alive. And if I don't know anything about who she was on the inside, the image won't be true to life. So I wanted to find some hints about who she was, and that's why I've been researching her deeds. Ah, so you were hoping to find out what type of girl she was. Girl? Interesting way of putting it, but yes, more or less. I see. <laughs> yes, yes, it is all quite clear to me now. <laughs> uh, what's happening? Okay then, allow me to share with you what I know of Sethleen's deeds. <clears throat> <clears throat> Long ago, in a world ravaged by war, Sethleen led a secluded life with her father, Kiho. One day, they met Saint Saros, who was grieved by the chaos and destruction of war. And so, the three decided to join forces. Huh? But I thought the saints gathered following a revelation from the goddess. At the Battle of Teotine, they fought against the ten elites led by Nemesis, who sought to conquer the whole world. Sethleen tended to her allies on the field of battle, until she exhausted all her strength. Then, she fell into a long slumber. But according to legend, she used her miraculous powers to heal all of the wounded. Interesting story, is it not? Have you perhaps learned something new about Sethleen? Having heard all that, I'd say she seems... incredible. Incredible? Well, I haven't heard that before. I feel certain you and I will be fast friends. Let us talk again soon. Huh. Who knew Flane was such an expert on Sethleen? <laughs> Um, excuse me, Shamir? What is it? Do you need something? Yes. I was curious about the world beyond Fodlan. Oh. You came from somewhere outside Fodlan, right? I'm curious about your homeland, what kind of place it was, and I thought you might... I will not. Sorry? There's no point in me telling you about it. I... uh... I, I see. All right, then. Wait. You misunderstand. Hearing me tell stories about the things I've seen? What good is that? That's just my experience. If you want to know about the world, you need to experience it for yourself. Is what I meant to say. Oh, that's what it was. That's... good. How so? I thought... maybe you didn't like me. Is that what you think? In your experience, do I seem to dislike you? If you can't determine something as simple as that, then you would gain nothing from the outside world. Oh, um... 
I don't actually know. I'm not very good at reading people, I guess. Ask me. I'm right here. I, I, I'm not that brave. I'm sorry. I'll leave you alone. I'll be going now. Not brave enough to ask a simple question. Or does he just not care? <laughs> Do you mind if I ask you about something? Yes? It's about animal behavior. Among us all, you surely know the most about animals. I've read that in outdoor battles, wild animals can sometimes cause unexpected confusion. What do you think would be the best strategy to... Um, are you listening, Marianne? I was listening. I just don't think I can really... For crying out loud! Why do you always have to admit defeat before even giving yourself a chance? My advice would probably just put everyone in danger. You'd be better off without me. This is beyond ridiculous. You're impossible. You seem convinced you're some sort of cursed being, destined to bring doom and gloom to anyone you encounter. Well... Why do you have such a terrible opinion of yourself? How could you possibly be so dense? I just... Just nothing! Now you listen to me for a moment. I can see that you have some deep-seated turmoil you struggle with. I'll have you know I have quite a few issues of my own. Perhaps more grave than yours, if you can imagine. R really Yes. But I'm not the only one who has such troubles to contend with. Everyone does. That's why it's so important to maintain a positive outlook and do what we can. Each time we find the light in the dark, we grow, bit by bit. And without growth, what's the point in carrying on? Lysithia... I envy your confidence and strength. Don't envy me. Instead, just choose to find the positive, won't you? Yes. Well, maybe someday. The time is now! This is your moment! Oh, okay. That's more like it. Now to start, why don't you help me out by answering my questions about wild animals? I'll certainly try my best. <laughs> to take out the trash. Got anything you want me to take? Uh, how about these? Just some old study notes of mine. Wow, that's quite the pile there. You sure it's all fine to throw away? Of course. It's all safely stored in my brain now. If I concentrate, I can access any of it with ease. Why am I not surprised? I wish I had even half your power of concentration. Okay, here we go. Ugh. This is pretty heavy. Well, it'll be a good workout. Oh, but you were telling me not to take my training so lightly. Still, can't hurt to get a little exercise in. I'll just take it at a run. See you later. Hmm. Hmm? What is it, Lysithia? Was there something in that pile of paper you wanted to hang on to after all? No, that's not it. There's just... something I want to say to you. I'm sorry for saying your way of doing things was inefficient. You've clearly grown plenty strong, doing things as you have. Not to mention, multitasking and training in that way surely presents interesting challenges. <laughs> well, sure. But if everyone has their own methods, then your methods aren't wrong either. All you did was share them with me, so there's no need for apologies. Still, it's probably beyond me to imitate your levels of focus and concentration. How do you even manage to throw yourself into only one thing like that? I haven't much choice. I can't waste even a single moment. I can understand that. I'm sort of the same way. I hate feeling like I'm not getting enough work done. Anyway, you should just do what works for you. You've got something you want to achieve, right? That's why you feel pressured to study so hard. Yes. 
then focus on what matters to you. Leave the rest to people who have the time for it. And hey, if you need any heavy lifting done, you know where to go. The way I see it, it's all training. You know, Leone, you're so kind, so strong. Whoa, what's with the compliments all of a sudden? I was just thinking what an incredible partner you'd make. Really, you've got all of the perfect qualities. What? I'm not simply saying that. I say what I mean, and I mean what I say. <laughs> You're making me blush. What a strange way to compliment someone. Phew. That about wraps it up for today's training. No thanks to a certain distraction. Professor Hanneman, I know you're there. It's extremely unsettling the way you're always staring like that. Oh, my apologies, child. I was trying to remain inconspicuous, not wanting to interrupt. Your half-hearted attempt to hide your weird staring only makes it weirder. Well, I must apologize. In the future, I shall do my staring out in the open. That might ease the weirdness, but it will continue to be extremely unsettling. I have no desire to disturb nor to disquiet you. But you are a most exquisite subject for my crest research. And you understand that the foundation of all research is observation. I understand well enough, and I'll do my best to ignore it. But in return... In return, I will keep your secret. I have not spoken a word of your twin crests, not even to the church. If they knew I was withholding such valuable information, I might be branded a traitor. But such matters are trivial compared to the future of Christology. Shh! Don't talk so loudly about it out here in the open! Pardon my excitement. I simply cannot let the opportunity to study such a miraculous subject go to waste. These awful crests may seem miraculous to you, but for me, they fall under the category of curse. I hope one day you will share more about your tragic origins whenever you have the time to recount it. Your tale may contain valuable information. You are utterly lacking in empathy, you know that? Even if you've spent your entire life observing me, you'd never understand my feelings and all I've been through. Now, if you'll excuse me. Ah, uh, I fear I may have made a misstep. I have no desire to trouble her. Get my research. Balthus, do you have a moment? Well, well. It's the little lady of House Ordelia. What can I do for you? You piqued my interest when you spoke about my parents coming to your rescue. Oh, right. Forgot I let that slip. After I fled my home, I became something of a vagrant. Getting into fights. Borrowing money I couldn't pay back. The works. Oh, I know all about it. You were quite the vagabond. Wherever I went, I was treated like trash. Securing enough food to live on got harder and harder. It became clear that I wasn't welcome in Alliance territory. So, I decided to head over to the Empire. My big mistake was stopping by the Great Bridge of Murden on the way. Just my luck, some jerk of a minor lord north of the bridge was on a hunt for the bounty on my head. Oh, that's awful. Would have been fine if I'd been alone, but innocent folks were around. Didn't want to endanger them. That's when I turned tail. I ran until I couldn't run another step, and found myself in Ordelia territory. I knew Count Ordelia from when I was still with my family's house, so it seemed like a decent option. I was hoping our history would be enough to secure a place of sanctuary, but no such luck. They refused to take you in? Yeah. I could tell there was some reason behind it. But they told me to get out as fast as I could. Ah, I imagine it was when the Empire was meddling with my family. We lived in shackles back then. Makes sense. Still, I'm grateful. 
They gave me food and distracted the Empire's cronies so I could escape. I was half dead from starvation, so that meal saved my life. No joke. Your family's the real deal. Just imagine what the Empire would have done to me. I can tell you it wouldn't have been pretty. I have no doubts. We weren't allowed contact with anyone from the outside. It was strictly forbidden. I see. Well, that's when I vowed to find a way to repay them. One day I'll do just that. And when do you intend to carry out this vow of yours? In due honesty, I don't see you as someone capable of carrying out vows right now, or even keeping your things together. <laughs> Can't argue with that. It'll take me a while to repay that debt, but I will. Just you wait and see. <sighs> I should head back. Finished with your training, Miss Marianne? Oh, P Professor Hanneman. Yes, I've just finished training for the day. You have merely completed the exercises assigned to you, yes? Nothing more? Or am I wrong? Yes. I'm sorry. I should have done more. No, no, please. You've done as you were asked. Quite solid work, child. I simply wish to ask a question. You possess a crest, do you not? I... <sighs> when you entered the officer's academy, your father submitted a request to the monastery, as well as a significant donation. Your father asked that your crest not be confirmed under any circumstances. At first, I thought he did not want the world to know that his daughter bore no crest. In your father's position as a newly minted noble, it would be most advantageous for his daughter to possess a crest, you see. However, I am now certain I was wrong. I believe you do, in fact, possess a crest of some sort. How did you find out? I have been called the Father of Crestology, which is a bit of an ostentatious title, I admit. However, a brief period of observation allows me to hazard a usually accurate guess as to whether a body houses a crest or not. With the knowledge of your father's actions and my own observations, I come to you with a warning. As a crest bearer, you are guaranteed to have certain talents. It is prudent to study your crest diligently to ensure your safe mastery of these talents, whatever they may prove to be. No, no. I have no talents. Oh, yes. You do. No matter how hard you may try to hide it, my sight is keener than that. And what I see others will eventually notice as well. Those who hold power must wield it in the service of their fellow man, Miss Marianne. I believe that is true, whether you are peasant or noble, and doubly true, I would say, for those with crests. Or do you think I'm wrong? I... <sighs> On principle alone, it is a waste to allow a rare talent to remain dormant. I would like very much to advise you to aid your understanding of your crest. Will you accept my offer? N no, I refuse. That is regrettable. A veritable tragedy, Miss Marianne. <laughs> Professor Manuela, I wish you to know that I have heard ever so much about your talents. <laughs> Whatever are you talking about, Flame? Singing! Why, you are, you are wonderfully skilled at it, are you not? Why, I have even overheard people saying your voice is akin to the singing of a goddess. It makes me happy to hear. But who told you that? Oh, the students are always speaking of it, which got me to thinking, I may be the only person in all of the Academy who's never heard your beautiful voice in song. So, I was wondering, Manuela, might you sing a little something for me? 
Your request is touching, but I can't perform on such short notice. My voice is an instrument and requires proper gentle care. However, the stories are true. I was once the leader of the Middle Franc troop, but that was a long time ago. Middle Franc? Um, what do those words mean precisely? You've never heard of the Middle Franc troop? It's the single most popular opera company in the Imperial capital. I used to sing on stage with them. I was the star, in fact. Oh, wow. In all of Enbar? They must not have been around when I was living there. You used to live in Enbar? Indeed. Although I was quite a bit younger at the time. It is where I was born, as a matter of fact. Oh, well, you must have been too young to hear about us. Ah, uh, yes, <laughs> that could be. And what precisely is the function of an opera troupe? You don't know what an opera troupe is? Well, it's a group of performers like myself who act out stories on stage in front of a big audience. Stories with lots of singing. Oh, I, I understand now. I certainly have experience in the fine art of storytelling. There is often singing as a part of story time for the children at the monastery. That is darling, Flame. But I'm not sure it's quite the same thing as an opera. You see, operas are performed in grand theaters with orchestral accompaniment. Everyone attending wears their finest. It is a very special occasion. Theaters, they're called? You mean to say that there are buildings exclusively used for... Telling stories? You've never even heard of a theater? You're an intelligent girl, Flame, and the world is full of wonders. You have a lot left to discover. Oh. Manuela. Isn't it a bit rude to sigh at someone the moment you see them enter the room? Hanuman, isn't it a bit rude to tell others how to behave? Besides, I could be sighing about any number of things more interesting than you. Goodness, you're unusually irritable today. Don't you imagine your attitude a bit excessive? You snap at every little thing, your ill mood on display for one and all. It saddens me to see such behavior from one who should be setting a good example for the younger generation. Well, listen to the noble lecturing a lowly commoner to be on her best behavior. Oh, wait, I meant to say the former noble. I fail to understand how my birth is relevant to the topic at hand. I was merely trying to say that as a fellow adult... You're not done lecturing yet? Leave me alone and go pester someone else. Maybe leave everyone alone and go focus on your precious crest research. Huh. I don't know what to say to you, Manuel. I was only speaking out of honest concern. Oh, was that a sigh I heard? Isn't it a bit rude to sigh at someone just because... Don't be so childish. You are so sensitive to ill will from others, yet you let your own emotions run wild. Why is it that you cannot keep a handle on yourself? Keep a handle on? Well, I've never. What makes you think you're so much better? Just because you keep your emotions bottled up behind your stupid stony face, well, it doesn't mean everyone else has to do the same. Stop telling everyone how to behave, Hanneman. It will make you and the rest of us much happier. I will not stand for this insolence. It is high time someone taught you. Go on. If you think you can change me, I'd like to see you try. <sighs> ha! Thought so. You wouldn't dare. Absolutely insufferable. All right, that looks like all the supports. Do 
piece of our activity points. I appreciate any good meal, but nothing beats enjoying my favorite food. Eating food always fires me up. Hoorah! Let's go fight somebody! Alright, let's grab this. This looks delicious. Let's eat. Wow, this is all kinds of tasty. Let's have some more food. Okay, let's take advantage of the bond invites um, event. I like seeing a table full of my favorite dishes. Felix. And Lysivia. That looks appetizing. Eating delicious food really takes my worries away. And one more meal. is nostalgic to me for some reason. Hmm, I'd like some more. You have my thanks. Ooh, we have some more supports. One for me. So there's a conversation all the way up there. Let's go. Ow. Professor. Ah, Catherine. Let's speak with her. Hmm. I wonder why. Sorry? Why does Lady Rhea give you special treatment? You're not particularly strong or good-looking. You seem exceedingly unremarkable. Not that I doubt you were a skilled mercenary. Shamir came from the same background, but she doesn't get nearly as much of Lady Rhea's attention. Besides, it'd be one thing if you got brought on as a knight, but a professorship? Unprecedented. Is it? I just don't get it. I'm flummoxed as to why she holds you in such high esteem. And it's not like just anyone can wield the Sword of the Creator. It's a legendary relic, right? And it was casually handed over to you. It's unbelievable. Maybe it's because you're related to Geralt. 
He was a leader of the Knights of Saros, and probably the finest mercenary in all Fodlan. By the time I joined, he was gone, so I don't know him too well, but he's strong, right? <laughs> Not as people say! Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. <sighs> oh, come on. There can't be a soul in Fodlin who hasn't heard tales of the Bladebreaker. Maybe that's it. Geralt used his influence to help you. But Lady Rhea wouldn't give you favorable treatment because of that. No, definitely not. There must be something more to you. Okay, that settles it. I'm going to watch from afar. Figure out what Lady Rhea could possibly see in you. Whatever it is, maybe I can copy it so that you'll take a shine to me as well. And if I discover that your intentions are malicious, I'll cut you down with relish. So we got her with a C. All right, let's finish exploring. Instruct manually. Never underestimate a noble. I am quite pleased. That is battle talent. Seal speed. Feel like a new man. Let me look into that one. I am beginning to understand. I did pretty well today. Felix. Perfect. Nothing. Of course I got it. I need to butter me up. Bottling talent. Now excels at reasoning. Ma black magic, crit plus ten. You yikes! That I can use. It was nothing. This will be useful. Now E plus. There's so much left to learn. This will be useful. I've come to understand a great deal. Perfect. This is hardly a challenge for me. My efforts have borne fruit. <laughs> it was only a trifle. This was hardly a challenge for me. I've come to understand a great deal. This was hardly a challenge for me. My efforts have borne fruit. Learn Ragnarok. That's actually a pretty good spell now that I think about it. Da, 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 da. I'll keep trying my best. It's fun when you know what you're doing. I 
I've really grown. I've really grown. Let's do this again. Technique never betrays. Focus on your horse. Let's do this again. You're a good professor. Right. Group task. Da, 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 da. In the lecture. Tell me something. Pretty soon I, I have eaten everything they have to offer in the dining hall. Then what am I supposed to do? Keep eating the same boring meals over and over? You should try and cook something new. You, you could suggest a new dish of your own. Just enjoy what you got. Um. Makes sense to me. Yeah, it wasn't a perfect. What better way to compliment my magical abilities than flying over the battlefield? Pictures yours truly, raining spells upon our foes from above. By studying reason and flying at the same time, I can make this vision, vision in manifest. Ooh, it's burning at this birthday. Let's try this. What is it? Did I do something wrong? You went out of your way to get my favorite tea? That's so nice! Ah, so our favorite tea is honey! Thanks so much! I thought she would love something sweet! Uh, not cool yet. Oh, come on! I doubt she's interested in the. The courtyard cup, the opera maybe? Nope. Really? Because she usually avoids people, so I don't think topics about other people would be something she was interested in. <laughs> um. If two people decide to be recluses together, does that even still count? Um, oh, come on! This was great! I hate these tea time things. It's like, oh, this seems right. Nope. I'm counting on you. Yes, together. Happy now? Perfect. I'm getting closer. It's fun when you know what you're doing. Right, and we've reached the end of the week. So in the next episode, we're going to be doing some battles. Um, I'll just...
quickly check my certifications. Right, I got a dark seal, so I can make you into a dark bishop. I've passed, have I? Uh, what is your current percentage? 50. Don't want to try just quite yet. <laughs> How far are you mastering? War Master. Need to focus you in Brawl. Ninety, that could be good, but again, I can't easily get mass seals, so I'm not gonna try. I, fi I find odd you're good at a warlock when you're supposed to be good as being a bishop. Okay, yeah, so we'll end things off here in the next episode, we'll start doing some battles. If you enjoyed this episode, do you like the video as it helps tremendously? Subscribe if you haven't already, leave a comment down below on your thoughts of this episode, and share the video so more people can discover my content and help the channel grow. And I will see you all next time. Later!